So this is a final uh, session, and the first speaker of uh, final session is, is Yuji Masamoto, uh, talking about breaking the resonance change of clothing silver art. So, yeah. So, let's start. So, let's begin my talk. So, breaking the resonance change of clothing silver art. So, I just present the distribution of super earthies. So super earthies are so like earth or so slightly larger than earth planets. So this figure shows observed planets. So Earth um, shows the planet side and X axis shows the same axis and so there are many so super earthies so these so earth size or slightly larger than earth size planets. So, in this talk, so I call so these planets as supersonic. And so, actually, so there are many, so about three or four thousand so planets are observed, and there are only so about thousand so planetary systems. Planets are in over 300 systems, so 300 multiple systems are observed. So most of these so planets are superseas. So over ninety percent of superseas. So these multiple planetary systems are mainly composed by these size planets, such as these systems. So the formation of those super systems are so well, yeah studies in is about 10 years. So at first, so planetary seas like planet symbols are so called planet symbols are formed and close up. And so this video shows the uh, result of evolution for by so uh, initially so planet symbols are close up and close planets so it um, Plus, so here we have the planet is, so yeah, plus, so plus for these, so pitch force, collision and migrate, so these plot planets are formed and migrate inward and trapped in resonant chains. So and after this gas removal, so there are planets are staying in resonant chains, so resonant planetary systems are formed. So this is one. So planetary super formation scenario, so formation of planetary and planet smells close up and formed planets are formed in other microwaves and resonant trapping and planets in resonant chains. So such systems are formed. So it is well known so the resonant orbits are very stable. So that this is uh, Mm. Neptune fluid systems. Uh, Neptune fluid systems is so uh, orbitally crossed, so their orbits are crossed, but they are so long term stable. So, so this is because they their separations are very large. So this figure shows uh, their separations and time duration of their separation. The major difference between these two planets are only 9 AU, but they do not encounter close close encounters. So they only yeah. they only so close close encounter here. So here is the uh, so the so upper center of outer yeah Pluto. And this is why they do not cause cross encounter. Their separation are not yeah, larger than this one is not less than 18 AU. So this is twice larger than similar difference. So slower migration traps planets in resonances and such stable configurations are formed. So such stable configuration planets are formed. But so actually this is my past so the satellite is but the there is a limitation of the stable resonances. 
So I put yes. So there's a planet by slow migration and shows so if so this figure shows the orbital stable time and so this is show as a function of number of planets. And number of planets are small, so they are stable. So these red triangles are resonant here season. And this is much so longer than no resonant cases. So ten planets are number of planets are small, they are so significantly stable. But ten the number of planets, if you see some critical value, so they equal unstable. So I found so the limitation of planets stable in resonances. So this is also so confirmed by some evaluations, like so we saw so here so initial configuration is similar. So there is a plot planet migrate inward, trapping resonance chain after gas removal, so they cause instability and no resonance systems are found. So this is like this way. So Christmas formed and brought planets formed resonant trapping, but orbital instability occurred. Then planets not in resonance chains are formed. So this so scenario so where we could use so these two kind of systems and these two kind of systems are also seen observed planets. But there are some difference between observed planets and the numerical result. So we still performed 120 energy simulations show so statistical numerical result. And so they confirm there are two differences. So one is too many resonant systems are formed in numerical situations. So this is uh, yeah, so this so is a result of numerical simulation. So these so systems under these lines are so non resonant systems are so so upper these parts are so fraction of resonant systems. So they show so there are about half resonant systems. And observationally, so there are only five percent. So this is very large difference. And one, so another point is too many planets are in resonances. So this is a curative distribution of planet planetary systems and number of planets in so yeah, these two lines are number of planets in resonances. So there are numerical results uh, like this. Um, here I put it, so observed planets is like this line. So I picked up so, this criteria and picked up these planets. And, yeah, observed planets are this. So numerical results produce so, large number of planets in resonances. So these two differences suggest there are some mechanisms. Some process make resonant planets unstable. So what makes resonant systems unstable? Um, here we focus on the planetary mass evolution, so planetary envelope evolution. So planets are trapped in resonances in gas disk since their eccentricity inclinations are damped and so then they go to the stable orbit. So then planets are trapped in so resonance is there is a disk gas and these disk gas are accreted by so planets as their envelopes. So this figure shows uh, so envelopes, so this is an uh, envelope fraction to yeah, okay, colors and such so envelope fraction, time evolution of these envelope fractions. So here so this density is also plotted. So in gas disk, so planets are beat envelopes. So yeah, this light panel, uh, light hands 
side in this operation. And after that scheme over, so they use the envelopes. So here, so they and the envelopes are most by the depressurization. So it's I know, so this capacity is developed and they are not suppressed. So uh, they so envelopes, so planetary envelopes are not suppressed by this capacity. Then this uh, envelopes spread and they they finally become lost. So actually, so there are some mechanisms so suggested for yeah envelope loss. So not only the specialization, but also so it's commonly you know, so the operation it's so the effect of so stellar XUV and so power mass uh, power muscles, so this is core heat in core planetary core heat envelopes and planetary envelopes are lost. So these devices would affect the mass of planets, so mass of envelopes and mass of planets. So, I have so here, so in this gas phase, migrate and resonant trapping occurs and right the envelopes grow up. And after the gas level, mass also falls. So, and also, the yeah, stars lose yeah, stars their mass. So, it, so uh, no mass, no stellar gain or final mass ejection. So this figure is a uh, kind of theoretical estimation for these so stellar mass, stellar wind and coronal mass ejection. So the mass rate is about 10 to 11 solar mass per year. And so it lasts about 10 to 8 or 10 to 9 years. So about 1% mass would be lost in this, these processes. And these muscles will change the orbits of planets. So due to the angular momentum, uh, yeah, conservation of angular momentum. So these stellar muscles also affect the final configuration of planets. So it's not so significant process like so about half mass are lost or yeah, but only one percent or but since resonance depends on only some angles, so resonance are very depend on their configuration. This one percent change describes these systems. So this is our idea. So our these planets, so planets in resonance chains describes by so this one percent or so mass evolution. Yes. And so we construct this kind of model. So initially, planets are trapped in resonances in gas disk, and so gas disk is this date in yeah, this depletion time scale, this gas depletion time scale, and also planetary mass or stellar mass evolves with so this the uh, acceleration time scale. It was a very simple model, so mass evolution is operated by simple exponential function. And we consider such parameters and we measure the orbital stable time scale, orbital stability time scale. Yeah, this is the typical results of planetary mass is lost in past 10 to 4 years. And so initially, so they are, so they are stable configuration resonance. So this vibrating stable configuration resonance is, but after they are about 10 to 4 years has passed, so here, so their vibration is, so yeah, they cause the so circulation from vibration. So they are not in resonance more, and so they cause orbital crossing. Yeah, so this kind of so, eccentric and eccentric configuration is broken and the yeah, orbital crossing will grow up and they will be, yeah, cause, they will cause giant impacts. 
So we measure this time scale, and this is the result. So, so this is a wizard master's case. Wizard master's case is similar, so there is a critical number of planets stable, keep stable. But if we consider planetary mass evolution, so less than this, number of planets are less than this, but they cause contact stability. So, maybe I don't have much time, so, so yeah. So, in short, so we confirm the computer instability in these areas, so number of planets are less than, so C, so compared to this critical value. This part uh, one percent must change it, so, so skip this. Uh, yeah, so this kind of, a percent mass change will help to explain these the three differences. So number of planets are about 10 for this numerical result, and number of planets are 7 for observed result. So this kind of mass separation of stars or planets will help to explain this observed distribution. So, this is my summary, so thank you for attention. Thank you. <laughs> Question? Oh, yeah. uh, interesting. In, in your modeling, do you have to try like a view train of parameters, or how how does uh, how do you find that? So. So, um, yeah. In our model, so there are many parameters like so, so stellar mass and planetary right. mass ratio and resonance. So, pitch resonance is number of planets. And, yeah, I just show one case. Yeah. So, so, you go with many combinations? Yes. Cool. Uh, yeah. Many combinations and uh, uh, typical result are the same with this. So, Hello, planets become different one or two or three or four. Any other question? Um, sorry, I, uh, I may have missed it, but what determines the n critical? Ah uh, yes, so this is uh, so maximum number for so maximum, maximum number of planets in resonance is stay in so long term so orbit so orbital yeah so, so stay in so resonant orbit so stay do not cause um, orbital instability so yeah this is actually my password and so so can planet three number is on seven cases, so they do not cause motion instability. So if we consider so very long term evolution tend to here one into orbit. So the and this figure has to have your answer so there is a um, critical number of planets so in stable orbit. So if the number of planets are so less than this value, so they are very stable. So much stable than the so no less than cases. And we do not confirm orbital instability in these cases. But if Planet exceeds this number, the number of planet exceeds this value, so they cause object instability. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe we can. Thank you. Let's start using again.